Hi everybody, this is Josh with another video in our Figma course. In this video, we're going to jump deeper into the gradient fills. There's a lot of different ways that you can edit and manipulate gradients to create really interesting effects. Let's jump right in. So here we are back in our Figma document again. I'm just going to hit F on the keyboard and create a new frame. We'll start with the Instagram post size again. I'll line it right up here on my canvas. There we go. This one's going to be less than nine. And I'm going to start with some ellipses. You can use whatever shape you'd like. I'm going to draw some out here. I'll make this one, let's see, 300 by 300 just to get a, a good size here. And let's go over to the fill properties and change this from solid to linear. Now we've used this before, so I just want to refresh your memory and use this linear gradient again. Now by default, it'll take whatever color we had selected as the solid color fill and add a second stop or swatch that goes to completely transparent. Let's change these colors here. These are called stops and we can just choose a few colors here from our document colors. There we go. So we have a vertical gradient here. We can change this if we want. We can drag these stops around in the color panel window here and reverse them if we want. You can see we can manipulate them and it changes how they interact on the canvas as well. We can also change them on the canvas. So I can grab the stops here on the canvas. I can also add new stops by clicking here. As I hover over this line, you can see I can add a new stop. And then I can select it here in the colors panel and choose a different color. So now we've got like this sunset gradient going on here. We could change that color to like a teal or a seafoam green color. And you can add as many stops to this gradient fill as you like. You can see we start to get some really interesting results. Let's make a duplicate of this. We'll hold down alt and drag a copy over open our fill panel up here again you can also click on this window and move the color panel to wherever you want on the screen which is really nice while you're editing your gradients now let's change this linear gradient to a radial gradient and see how this changes our our fill this is really interesting it looks like something from space or something now and we can change the angle so we can grab these, these little circles here and pull out this gradient. And you can see that we can snap the gradient to those smart guides where we see those red lines. And we can change the spread or the aspect ratio of how this gradient is being applied. So we can make something that sort of looks like a, a whole solar system or nucleus of an atom or something. Let's drag a duplicate again and open our color panel, our fill panel over here and change this gradient from radial to angular. Now see we've got sort of this cone shape and our stops go around this circle. Instead of in a line, they go around the shape. So this is almost like looking at, at the tip of a pencil from the top down or looking at a cone from the top down. And that's the angular gradient fill. And we can adjust those stops. You can open up the fill properties again and move these stops around on the canvas or right here in the color panel window. Let's drag another duplicate and change the gradient from angular to diamond. Once again, we get another option here for how these colors are being applied in this gradient pattern here. This is a much different look and effect. I'm keeping the same colors, but you can see how I can change the angle of this or how it spreads across the shape and get a much different result. So here we have all four of the different kinds of gradients that you can use and you can add colors, you can remove colors from that gradient 
So you can create sort of ra rainbow effects or chrome kind of effects. We can just plug with some of the colors here. Let's just make this maybe like all different shades of gray and blue. We could get sort of a metallic or icy looking effect here. So there's lots of interesting ways that you can fill shapes with gradient fills. Create some more shapes and practice changing the colors and trying out these different forms of gradient fills and maybe create your own project using the different methods of gradient fills. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.